What's going on guys, DJ App here, and we're gonna check out GoToEQ, and it's made by a company out of Sweden that doesn't mind making fun of people that don't know how to pronounce their name right. Grint, Clav Grint, Clav Groen, Clav Groen. But they make some really good stuff here, and the link will be in the description box, and you'll see that it is $29.99 USD, and yeah, it's really good. It's on sale right now, and we're gonna do some demonstrations here. Uh, within this demonstration, I just want to show you that we will be comparing it to the SSL EQ by Waves, of course, because I think they're they're both in the same realm here. Uh, so with that being said, uh, you can expect that this particular EQ can be used on snares. And what I did here is I have this drum track here. So that's the drum track. I'm going to go ahead and mute the hats because I want us to focus on just the drum line uh, this, the spectrum analysis right here is just for anybody that really wants to look at the analysis as we mix and you know of course leave a comment below so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by muting this the kick drum because I want y'all to look at the analysis here now there's nothing going on here I haven't messed with any of the knobs here but I do want to point out that there are different there are different presets that you can use. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of them right now. I'm going to go into the drums. Of course, the kick is not going to be the one you should go to. But you can see, you can hear that the tonality has changed. Let's go to snare. Now toms. Overhead. Ooh. That sounds good. So I'm going to go back to default. So the purpose of me using this snare in this track is because this snare can be shaped because it has enough transients for you to hear different tones in it. And one of the things I want to point out here is that I, I kind of thought it was awkward about the GUI, but I do love the plain look of these plugins that they do because it seems a little bit more focused than your average. So... Uh, you got to keep in mind that these big knobs are frequency knobs. They're like your frequency sweeping knobs. Uh, you do have your gain knobs right here. So if I was to gain the low mid. And then sweep the frequency. Now it does have a way of shaping the bell. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, knock the game back down. Now let's. Let's go ahead and uh, use that dynamic attack. Now let's sweep the frequency. You now you can hear a lot of snap in this snare. Holy crap. And stuff like this really gets me excited because that means uh, with, with a lot of people uh, that are really getting into uh, designing their own drum kits or, or mixing drums or such, uh, a lot of them don't know that EQing does a lot of changing uh, to a snare. You know, a lot of people, they give you a little grief uh, and say, well, you're not so, well, EQing is not sound design and all that. Yes, it is. It's definitely that. Uh, you can definitely see by the analysis that the, the snare was changed. You also have the best tool, your ears, where you can hear those type of changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and reset that and reset this. Yes, you can double left click on these and they reset the, the parameters. So that is a really good look. Now we're going to mess with the high mids. Mess with the dynamic attack. All right, mess with the Q. 
Now let's sweep the frequency. That's resonating a little bit. Uh, another thing I want to point out here within this GY is that you should know is that you definitely can see if stuff is peaking. Uh, if you uh, do run into that or if it might be a, your whatever you're doing, even if you're DSing or whatever, you can actually analyze it right here. Like you can see a little bit of peaking here within the part of that GY. So you can just turn down the output. Or you can just change the input. And of course, double left clicking or double clicking will reset that parameter back to normal. Uh, so we have the SSL EQ and it is on the snare as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I guess, mess with both of them back and forth. And I'm going to go ahead and engage the SSL. And we're going to mess with the low. Uh, mid frequency, so we're gonna go ahead and gain it right here. So the gain knob is right here. Um, what we got here? About nine. Now we're gonna go down here. Put that nine. I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm trying to get there. Mm. And let's go. We're not going to worry about clipping or anything. We're just going to go ahead and just hear it. All right, so that is the SSL. Bypassing it. Now let's go to the go to EQ. So from what I got just from messing with the, the low mid gain here and boosting the low mid gain and not even sweeping at all is that uh, you really, you really, yeah, uh, you really can hear that uh, this SSL uh, plugin has more gain to it. Obviously, you can see it right here as it's clipping uh, and the go to EQ is is a little bit more musical so this one is more destructive uh, i mean give it a gra granted the nature of an ssl uh 4000 or whatnot is definitely a destructive eq so that's why people like that and yeah very interesting uh there so what i'm gonna do go ssl eq i'm gonna go and go into kilohertz here boom And there we go. Oh, let's hear them. So SSL first. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go back. Pretty good, interesting snap. There you go, to the normal. And now we're going to listen to the go-to. Go ahead and clip both of them. All right, back to the SSL. SSL is on now. You can see that within that. It's pretty interesting stuff. So the go to EQ uh, really favors the high mid frequency. And it's, it's really snappy in the high mids. And while the SSL remains musical in the high mid frequencies. So hmm, it's pretty interesting. So they really do have their own place here. So you don't really have to worry about, you know, if you don't or if you do or if you do not have one or the other. They're both special in that regard. So that's really good there. 
not 100% scientific. I know that people in the comment section will go crazy, but tell me how you feel about this. Again, the link will be in the description box. And I do want you guys to check this out. Really dope company. I really do appreciate you guys for reaching out to me uh, for a review and you know just checking it out on the snare uh, definitely a real good tool for shaping your snares or even if you want to put it for de-essing on vocals or anything that is high in resonance has a high pass filter on it of course so you're able to you know add the lows in at your destructive constructive wheel so anyways guys i'm dj f here and i hope you enjoyed that